so there was a girl that came into my Jiu Jitsu club recently. She was brand new and she was, she's quite attractive and she's really good at Jiu Jitsu. And my instinct, my instant female reaction was, I don't like her. Date with my brother. Okay, I shouldn't say date. Coco Whip with my Mei Mei. Mei Mei's uh, little sister in Chinese, if you didn't already recognize that. We're on giant chairs. So we look like little people. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> you did it wrong, Tay. You ruined it. No, you failed! I have no idea what to wear when you go watch a boxing match other than active wear. So, I just had to go all black. I'm off to go watch my, one of my girlfriends do her very first boxing fight. Ever since I've met her, she said she's always wanted to do an MMA boxing fight, and now she's finally got her first opportunity to do it. So, going to support. So last night I actually had three of my male friends fighting in an MMA fight um, about an hour and a half drive away and I was actually tempted to go watch them but then this is uh, my, chick's f my chick friend and it's her very first fight so I think as a female it's important to always support the females. One thing that females want to do is they want to get jealous by people doing things because they're not doing it. So I find that a lot of girls... Um, will get, especially in the martial arts world, will get intimidated or jealous when a new girl comes into the gym, especially if they're better than them. And instead of praising girls up and supporting them and learning from them, they actually want to put them down. So recently they did a study on uh, people over 90 and they asked them what makes them happy and what are the things that they appreciate most in life and what kind of keeps them going and they all said connection. And it wasn't um, a connection to a partner, it wasn't about finding love and it wasn't about things, it was about friendships. And it was about finding friends that you can live your life with and enjoy spending time with and that's one thing that we all undervalue is that we all want that connection we all want to feel connected which is why social media is such a big thing one in five people say that they feel lonely and they don't feel connected even people in relationships say that they feel lonely the reason why um, I really want to go to my girlfriend's boxing fight last night instead of going to watch my three guy friends do an MMA fight the connections that I have with these girlfriends is going to last a lot longer than any connection I have with with some guy friends. Girls need to really start valuing connections with girls. But the biggest problem is girls are insanely competitive. And whenever another girl succeeds, for some reason, it's something in female human nature to wanna to tear them down and to not support them. So there was a girl that came into my Jiu Jitsu club recently. She was brand new and she was, she's quite attractive and she's really good at Jiu Jitsu. And my instinct, my instant female reaction was, I don't like her. For no reason. I have not said hi to her yet. I have not rolled with her yet. So out of my animalistic human instinct, my first reaction was, I don't like her. She's a bitch. She's a terrible person. After I realized I did that, I got so angry at myself. I was, I was like, how dare you automatically judge another female because you find them attractive? And because their jujitsu might be a bit better than yours. I don't even know. I haven't even rolled it yet. So. What I did, because I noticed this straight away and I was not happy with the fact that I felt this way, I automatically went straight up to her and ever since I made sure that I was the nicest person in the world to this girl. We be and now we've become buddies. Now every time we I see her at the mat, I'm excited she's there, we love to roll. She's probably one of the best partners for me to roll for my game and for my Jiu Jitsu. She's a little bit lighter than me, but her Jiu Jitsu is good. We're at the same level and if I want to grow, girls like this in my life is what's going to help me grow. But for some reason, I even called my sister up afterwards that I automatically felt like I didn't like her and it was such a negative feeling for absolutely no reason so I was so proud of myself the fact that 
I noticed that there was a negative jealousy feeling for no reason other than the fact that she's a good looking girl and she's the same age as me and I turned that into actually creating a really good friendship and you never know these friendships could be lifelong friendships pretty much my sum up message is girls need to give other girls a chance and we need to start bringing girls up instead of and don't choose guys over girls like guys will come and go and guys are usually only around for one thing they could be there for friendships but generally they're looking for something in particular or they're looking for something a little bit more of a friendship whereas girls really just want to be a friend and they just want to be there to support you and finding those strong female connections is what's going to make you happier in the long run it's not things it's not partners over time your kids will grow up and it won't be kids either it will be those connections